Everything is difficult Help me help you Girl, what you trying to do? Cause I don't got a clue no. Hello folks, welcome back to JC TV um, This is a video I tried to get done yesterday um, Anybody that watched yesterday will know that I did a little video called uh, The Project Part 2 And um, that's me going through my room sorting out bits and pieces and this bad boy of a box here uh, had all my Spectrum uh, stuff from back in the day. And this is what a Spectrum is. Now this is one of the very first home computers. Um, you can see it's basically got a rubber keyboard. Right? It's seen better days because someone tried to repair it because the membrane actually wore out on one of them and had to get a replacement. I think it still works. And uh, what you had, you had a basic coaxial cable there, right, which would plug into the back of your TV. It's before HDMI and all that malarkey. You had a couple of audio ports in and out, and uh, that was for using cassette tape, right? And I'll explain what cassette tape is because there's probably a lot of people that don't know. You had your power input, yeah, and you had an interface which where you can plug different uh, devices. Um, including a uh, adapter for a joystick, which I no longer have, but I believe you can still get hold of them. Um, you notice that they have very different things on there with different words and stuff. That was to let you program, um, but I mainly used it for gaming. Um, good little machine. Came out in 1982. One channel of sound, that was it. No um proper audio it was just beeps yeah for the most part um 48 uh, so it was a 48 k memory um and yeah that, that's that's the basic the thing with it very very early computer made by uh the sinclair company hence the name on the top there i don't know if you can see that uh by a funny little bloke called sir clive um, if you don't know who he is, go and look him out. He's a, a bit of an interesting character for his time. Um, anyway, I'm just going to go through the basic bits and pieces that uh, I've had with it over the time. When it came out, it was, uh, I believe, 129.99, which is, is quite cheap, really, for when you think about it, for a, a machine of any So I'm just moving stuff out of the way. came with that tape. Um, which I think was just a basic thing with uh, a couple of games, very, very basic games, um, telling you how to use the machine, uh, all the rest of it. Um, the thing with Spectrum as well, with the boom being on tape like that, they made her a horrendous racket. Tapes are like a, a screaming cat that being caught in a combine harvester or something, you know, it was a horrible racket, um, um, but it was all that used to load all the information in. Um, I haven't got all of them, but you've got a basic instruction manual there, and loads of books, because we were trying to, my dad wanted to use it to be educational, and then when he worked, we had a couple of educational games, but they've all gone walk about now. The various books on how to program, I did learn basic, um, I could do that, didn't really get my head around machine code though, that was well too complicated, all hexadecimal nonsense and all that, and I just, just couldn't figure it out, um, too much hassle, did program a couple of games, but nothing amazing, and you've got to remember that this machine was very, very basic graphics, um, Nothing to write home about by today's standards, but some of the games were really fun. Um, I will really try and go through these games relatively quickly for you. As you can see, BMX Racers pretty much says what it was. Top down scroller. Uh, one of the first fighting games, Web Exploding Fist. Absolute classic for its time. Some 
cover tape. I'm not going to go into every single game on there. Um, but yeah, that was another thing with magazines. You've got these tapes and that with, with free games and demos and all the rest of it. Uh, European, uh, is it European? Yeah, European Club Side Soccer. Again, most of these are top down. You didn't really have 3D that, or they were like side scrollers or whatever. Kickstart 2, basically a little, little racing stunt game based, I think, on the TV series. Spellbound, which was a little adventure game. Uh, bear with me, loads in here, loads in here. That's why I want to try and get through them quickly for you. Joe Blade, which is sort of a side scrolling multi room uh, combat game. Agent X, don't really remember what that, I know I loved it, but I can't remember what you had to do, sorry. Rolling Strat Race. New things! Anybody wants to know about that, look up Roland Rat. It's on TVAM or whatever it was. Um, one of my favourite games ever, Daddy Thompson's The Catalan. If anyone's ever played the arcade classic track and field, you know the sort of game it was. And you used to basically look like you were doing something rather dodgy that you shouldn't be doing, right, with your joystick, in order to get it to run. Uh, another one of the adventure style games, uh, all connected. Um, the thing with these games, a lot of them were like one ninety nine, which is peanuts. Even then, it was it was pretty cheap, but it was good stuff. Uh, Attack of the Killer, to Killer Tomatoes. I don't really remember what that was like, I'm afraid. Lunar Jet Man. That was the first game I ever got. Uh, basically, the idea was you had a space. Uh, buggy and uh, you picked up bombs, put them in your space buggy, wheeled them to an alien base, blew up the alien base. That was that. Um, Spy Hunter, love that game. Top down driving game, you have to shoot the crap out of uh, enemy spies and helicopters and boats and stuff. Robert Sherlock, which was a text adventure game. Uh, Basically, you know, obviously a spoof between uh, Robin Hood and Sherlock Holmes. Um, and those games, you had to type in what you were going to do. And it was always go, do not understand, cannot do that. That item was not found. And it was incredibly frustrating to play. But some of the games were very, very well written. Uh, okay, on to the next one. Um, the Inheritance. Don't really remember what that was about. No idea. Um, Green Beret. I'm sure that was somebody else's and it ended up in my box somehow. Uh, which was a side-scrolling combat game. Bubble Bubble. Bloody love that game. Platformer. Yeah, and the basic gist of it was you had monsters running around. You these little little dudes here. You fire bubbles at things. Capture them bubbles. Burst the bubbles. Destroy them. A hundred levels of that nonsense. Uh, loads and loads of different games on there. Again, I'm not going to go into these. This was another thing. If you wait a while, right, you've got a bunch of games for like a tenner. Absolute bargain. Um, Executor, which I believe was a side scrolling shoot em up. World well, games. Absolute classic. We never had uh, the summer games stuff like we did on the Commodore 64. But getting any of those was good fun. It's all like, you know, Olympic events and uh, daft events. I mean, you have things like rodeo and sumo wrestling and all that nonsense. Uh, oh, this is going to be a long video. Adrian Mole. If you don't know what that is, go and read the book. Um, that was kind of an adventure game style thing. Uh, going through the day to day, making decisions about your life and all the rest of it. So that was all good fun. Another thing of multiple games. Another one there. You'll notice some of these games I've got like twice as a result, but you wanted the odd game and it was cheaper, so you went and you went and did that. You went and brought them. Brought them. Um, that's another another one. Just the games, a bit like the the other one I showed you. The original, the original, the original Street Fighter wasn't very well done, but it was a bit of a laugh, and 
I got on with it a lot better than I did with the street light too and all that lot. Um, another sort of Olympic Games thing was set in space and throwing your head around and all that nonsense. Marble Madness, where you basically control a, uh, a marble down a, a sort of a maze thing with pitfalls and various things, and you hope you didn't cock it up. Uh, I'm just going to put these back away a minute before we get on to the next lot. Uh, Agent X2, yeah, follow on from that other one that I showed you. Oh, so many games, so many games. Chase HQ, which was another racer, um, and you had to hunt down an other car, a bit like, a bit like uh, Spy Hunter, I suppose, but you didn't necessarily shoot at them, uh, but it was, it was, um, I suppose what you call 3D as opposed to top down. Some sound again we had to deliver presents in chimneys and stuff. Buck Rogers, which was a sort of uh, 3D shooter. Strider, which was a sort of jumpy platform around game, slashing things and beating stuff up. Uh, don't have all this. Absolutely love this game. The box is a bit missing. Um, that was a top-down shooter, uh, basically war planes and stuff, and flying really silly uh, weaponry that was not only possible to move and get through. Fire Lord in Uridium. Uridium was a great game. Uh, top-down side-scrolling shooter. And you basically have to land on this big dreadnought uh, and then blow it up. Operation Wolf, which was um, a, um, I suppose, almost a first-person shooter, you'd say. It's based on an arcade game, and you just shot multiple targets until you died. That one, uh, Prodigy, don't remember that at all. I know, I know I played it, but I can't remember. Uh, so, so far training company, space exploration game, down the battles and forwards, selling stuff. A bit like the poor man's elite, if you don't know what elite is, go look that up. Uh, oh, crikey. I'm still going. Bear with me. Too many games for words, too many games for words. Sorry this is very quick trying to go through, but I'm trying to make sure it doesn't take up too much time. It's already in the 12 minute mark. Winter Games, absolutely love that. Another one was skiing events and all the rest of it. The only one I hate was the bloody figure skate, and that was just lame, but then I hate figure skating anyway. Enjoy a race, uh, motorbike, scrambling simulator game, quite good. Tenth frame, Sonic's Lamentary, bowling game. Some Christmas type thingy. Uh, Mario Marauder, which is sort of a top-down buggy shooter thingy. Some really, really dodgy thing, obviously. Uh, well, I don't know. I don't know if it's come out before the titles or afterwards. I don't know. Not sure. Uh, but anyway, Ninja Hamster. Another batch of games, loads of stuff on there. Typhoon, which is another shooter. V, uh, Terminoid, which is a side scrolling shooter thingy. Sort of a cave exploration. Tiger Renegade, which is a beat em up. Another side scroller for you, Nemesis. Nearly down we're getting there. Well, nearly dropped the old bloody lot on the floor then. Um, I won't show you all of these, but I've got these things. Very, very basic game, literally written in basic. Uh, I don't remember much about them, but they were pretty crap, really. Uh, some sort of storyline involved, but I don't think I played it that much. I think I got them as a bundle from one of these um, game club things that WH Smith was running. Our oh, type, absolute classic side scroller. Bloody difficult to play though. Bloody difficult to play. Never very good at it. Um, I won't dig out the whole thing, but 
Brian Club Scribble Fortunes, right, which was basically a board game connected with a computer game, and you rolled the dice and did stuff on the board, and you had uh, player cards and stuff like that. Um, I think most of it's there. Yeah, There's a bunch of card things that you had, just with numbers on them for their stats and what position they were in. Um, I don't think this was mine, I don't know where it came from. But uh, Underworld from Ultimate, Ultimate were one of the top game companies of the time, did some really amazing stuff. They were the first person to do isometric 3D games, as far as I remember. Great stuff. Right, bloody difficult. That you got to remember that these, these were games that you had three lives and then you died and you had to go all the way back to the beginning. No save points, nothing like that. You died, that was it, game over. And you'd be halfway through playing a game, you're going, well, I'm going to go, dinner time! No, dinner time, yeah, I'm finishing the stage, no, now. Dinner time, no, now. Right, but I've, I've click, switch the bloody computer off while I'm through playing the bloody game, because again, you come to the dinner table. Ah! Nightmare. Anyway, Afterburner, which is another arcade conversion thingy. Um so what you call a third person uh, flight sim combat game. A bunch more games there, US Gold Collection, because I did like some of the US Gold stuff, they were another good company for the most part. Um, Everyone's Wally, which is a, like a first scrolling uh, adventure, I'm um, gathering, piling and solving game, even came with uh, on the back of it, a song by Mike Berry, I believe. Well, I can't remember exactly who he was, but he was, I think he was quite famous for his time, if I remember correctly. It's in something like, uh, Are You Being Served or something, if I'm thinking of the right person. No case for it, but we got Beach Buggy Simulator, pretty self explanatory. And the only other one that I can't, oh yeah, there we go. I'll see the same Monty, the Monty Mouse series. Um, they were cr they were fast games for their time as well. Really good fun. Uh, don't have a lot of the classics. Don't have Manic Miner. Don't have Jet Set Willy. Um, I did have Outrun. Where that is, I've no idea. That's got more come out. Um, loads and loads of stuff as you can see. Um, well, I wanted to get that done because this is going to be a bloody long video as it is. Um, but yeah, really, that's it for the Spectrum. If you want me to go into more detail, what I'll probably do is get hold of an emulator and show you some of the games that way, if you really want to see what they're like. Um, but, you know, if I went through everything in a lot of detail, you'd find it incredibly dull and boring. You really would. Um, but yeah, if you, if you if you want me to do sort of a, a retro recap, shall we say, of Spectrum stuff, by all means let me know. Let me know if there's a good emulator for it, uh, if there's um, a good screen cap thing for the PC, because that's what I really need. Uh, I've tried doing stuff with screen capping before and it doesn't come out very well, which is why I've never really bothered. Um, but yeah, any anything that you can help me do the videos, that would be magnificent. Um, that's it folks. You know the drill, do all the usual thumbs up, all that blah 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 notifications, do the do the do. Please subscribe. Please, 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 please go and check out my competition. It's taken me ages to get anywhere. My numbers are going up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. I'm never going to get to 200 by the end of the year. But I would like to get there at some point. So there is a price in it for people. Um, what I'm thinking of doing is saying, look, do yourself an Amazon want list, right, if you're the winner. Do yourself an Amazon want list. I will go onto that list, yeah, and I will pick a number of items, depending on how much I can afford, and get mailed out to you, right? So you can pretty much have anything you want. Obviously, I'm not going to buy your bloody 4K TV, right? That's just not going to happen. Um... But you know, there's, there's some movies you want, uh, a video game, as long as it's not overly expensive, I'm not spending 50 quid. 
that's just too much for a video game. But, you know, have a think, let me know. I won't so necessarily get it off of Amazon because I may be able to find it cheaper elsewhere, obviously. Especially with the January sales coming up. So, any, you know, what, go, and, go and check the link. The competition is bloody easy to do. You don't, you know, it's just liking and subscribing, get people, uh, other people involved, yeah, sharing, all that, yeah. The very little effort you've got to do to, to, to get in there. Um, and you can win yourself something nice. Anyway, folks, I'm going to leave it there. That's it. Um, there will be a, another video similar to this in the future because I also have an Amiga 1200. I've still got loads of games for that. I've got a ton of PC games. Um, if people want to see them, let me know. And let me know what else you want to see. If when I'm doing the project you see something in there you think, yeah, great, I want to see what that is. What is that, Jason? What, what's, what's that all about? Right? Let me know. I'll do it. You give me the ideas, and as long as I, I can do it and I'm not going to cripple myself with something stupid, I'm pretty much up for anything. Yeah? And as, well, as long as it doesn't get me banned for 30 days or whatever. Alright? Anyway, folks. Um, until next time, I shall see you later. Bye-bye. Take care.